to be able to talk about this year, I think I've got to look back towards historically as to kind of where we've been to look at where we're headed. And last year uh, was the fourth uh, Sweet 16 uh, and second Elite Eight that we have participated in in the last four years. Uh, and that means that all of our current players kind of only know that level. Um, last year, we were uh, leading with 25 minutes left uh, in the Elite Eight uh, before losing. And uh, I think that has been in the back of our mind uh, in the entire offseason. We've had an offseason that's included uh, playing numerous matches in South Africa uh, with a really, really hungry team. Uh, at the end of last year, we faced some really, really hard injuries and uh, were able to kind of gather ourselves in the NCAA tournament with replacing some of our uh, seniors uh, that had gotten hurt with some younger players. And so the good thing is for us, is a team that we ended the year with, with, with the Elite Eight, we only had two starters that were not returning uh, coming into this year. So it's definitely a year that we have high expectations. Now, one of the incredibly difficult things for us to be dealing with right now is the loss of uh, All-American Ugo Akoli uh, to a knee injury. And um, having a player like him, as well as some of the graduating players that we don't have returning, makes it incredibly difficult to you know, think about where you're gonna go and we're gonna start. Now, what's great is we have uh, an awesome returning group, seven seniors, all of which, which could be starting for us. But what's been very interesting is the quality of our underclassmen has been extraordinary within our preseason. Um, we felt that last year that our, our freshman class, so this year's sophomores, uh, didn't really come in fit enough and a lot of them were dealing with injuries and stuff. And so we weren't able to use them as much as we would have wanted to. But this year they've just come in incredibly fit uh, and our freshmen have been incredibly fit. So um, we run a beep test, you know, internal numbers that don't mean much to others, but uh, a good beep test for us in the past has been 24, 25. That's been a good result. And this is a, a group that just averaged a 28. We had a freshman set uh, our, our freshman uh, beep test um, record as well as uh, a senior captain uh, that did the same thing. And so it's a very, very, very fit team um, we've got great veterans that have been there before, but the younger players have just been a revelation. And when I say younger, I really mean freshmen and sophomores. They've just been unbelievable and they are heavily pushing the junior and senior group. So as we project forward, I think that we're going to have a team that one is going to have uh, some surprises from a, from a starting and not starting standpoint. I really think there's going to be some new faces that are going to push through. Uh, and that's exciting. And I also think that this is going to be a team that is going to have a slightly different tempo and a slightly different system to the way that we've played in the, in the past. I think it's going to be a team that's going to be a bit more possession oriented um, than, than in past years, just by the nature of kind of how we're trying to play and, uh, and who we have. So we're really excited about the year. Um, we think it's going to be fantastic. We've already had a scrimmage. We had a scrimmage with a very good team uh, on the second day of preseason and, and, and won that uh, by a score of 6-1. to one. Uh, And so there's a lot of optimism within, within the team, but there's a lot of work to be done as we try to bring in uh, a great freshman group. And we've got a lot of weapons, and we're going to see, try to put, continue to put things together and, and see where we go. Um, we also play a, uh, as we always do, a really, really hard schedule. But one of the things that's unique, and I think it's just by the weird nature of how the conference will realign with schedules and things like that, that we have a bear of a schedule uh, in September. So we've talked a lot to our players about the importance of this preseason so that we are ready to go uh, and go quickly. And one of the things that's, that, that I think has changed is we now play a Haverford Muhlenberg Dickinson really, really early. Uh, and that's in with a sea of Wednesday games that include Rowan and Stevens, who are great teams. And so those games together, kind of back to back, are huge, as well as two big tournaments. Um, you know, we've got, we've got Alvernia, who's, who's always a great local team for us to play. Cal Lutheran is coming in. Um, and, uh, and then we go down and play a great Randolph and WNL team um, that we played, um, that we'll be playing at WNL. So we're looking at a bunch of teams. Of course, we've got the, uh, the Smith Herboot in the middle of that. 
And so we have a, a sea of teams that are NCAA tournaments uh, caliber groups. Uh, and it's going to be a really, really hard schedule um, as we get right out of the gates.